fixing the state's education system has been and still is a priority for state lawmakers. They've been working to tackle issues in the classrooms, but now they're moving on to the issues at the bank, focusing in on how the state funds our education. Our Georgia Reed Godfrey has more information on work that's being done behind the scenes right now to update the state's current funding formula. South Carolina lawmakers are trying to fix the state's education system, focusing on things like teacher retention and classroom environment. But now lawmakers are trying to tackle the state's education funding formula. Lawmakers on the Education Funding Study Committee met for the third time Wednesday to evaluate the state's education funding formula. The review comes after a Revenue and Fiscal Affairs Office report on the state's current funding situation. It pointed out that we've already got 55 school districts losing, um, and, and that's, the, that's a problem. Uh, and I think it also just points out that not all the money is getting to the classroom and, and, and that it's something that needs to be worked on. Several suggestions were presented at Wednesday's meeting, including a plan to have the state cover two-thirds of a district's expenses. And this has the effect of, one, equalizing tax burden across districts. Two, it ensures that low-wealth districts receive a larger share of their funding from the state. And then three, it just dramatically simplifies the cost-sharing calculations. Calculations that have presented to be a big problem with the state's current formula, which is why the Education Funding Study Committee will work to update the system, making sure money is spread equitably across the state. How do we just make sure the money gets to the classroom? Is the money getting to the classroom? Do we have too many strings with it? Is it, are we putting too many mandates on the school districts that they don't need. The committee plans to have one more meeting after session starts to pick one of the alternate funding formulas. In Columbia, George Godfrey, 7 News. Today a big check press